European versus American homes, 12 differences. I really enjoy checking out these kind of videos and seeing the differences between European and American stuff. Before we do get into this, I appreciate you guys getting that subscribe button. Let's jump straight to this and check out our homes. American versus French houses. If you ever wonder kind okay. of what are the difference, well, it's good because today I'm going to talk about them in this video. Right. Uh, if you don't know, I am French. I did grow up in France. I currently also am in France. But okay. I also lived about five years in the United States. So I did live in American houses right. and in French houses. So uh, I, she's, she's been in a decent amount of time in American houses and this is going to be good. I've seen quite a lot of differences and I thought it would be fun uh, for me to share some of them with you today. Right. Bro, American houses, man, is so beautiful. So first we're going to talk a bit about outside the house. Because the okay. first thing I found when I was in the US was uh, the open yards. In oh. France, a lot more yards are fenced in. When you will come over here, you will... Yo, same with the UK, man. Like, all of our houses either have fences going around or big bushes, right? Uh, you never really see... I've actually never seen a UK... I could be wrong, but I've never seen a UK home that's open, like, gardens, yards. See that? And in the US, a lot more yards are open, I guess. Right. So, of course, it depends if you're more in the city or if you're more in the country. Okay. However, even if you compare uh, suburbs... You will see in the US usually a lot more yards are open yards, whereas in France everything is closed in and fenced in. Right. So I think. Wait, do are any American homes actually got fences or bushes? Or are they all just open? Oh, wait, I've actually seen some American homes with like the metal fence. But do any have like the big wooden fence or like where you just can't see other people's yards? Just because you have a lot more space. So between your neighbor, you have a lot more space where right. we don't have that. So True. everything is fenced in, I guess. So it was one of the first thing I found when I was in the US. Number two are mailboxes. Are you guys not really too bothered about like uh, privacy or anything in your yards? Are you just like, you know what? Screw it. Confidence. I'm going to sunbathe with everyone watching me. <laughs> so yes, mailboxes are quite different. Oh, yeah, uh, first, the, the design is different. American boxes are usually rectangle. They're on a stick by themselves. Right. Uh, whereas in France, because we have fence, they are usually uh, in the fence. Yeah. And they are usually squared. So wait, I thought this right. So I actually found out in a different video with like the American mailbox. You guys could put your letters in in there, and indicate to the postman to take it and deliver it, bro. That is so cool. We have to go to the actual post office to do that. That's really cool. But can't people rub your mail? Like, can't they open the mailbox and just take your mail? It's not the same design. Ours are usually in metal, right. whereas you guys have like thick uh, plastic mailbox, I guess. And um, of course, they are mostly standards as well. Like in the US, most people have the same mailbox. In France, we also have mostly the same mailbox. Yeah. Uh, another thing about the mailbox, which was really weird for me because we don't have that in France, is just a little red flag you have to send oh, yeah. mail out. So, Bro, I that is such a cool idea. Bro, that's such a good idea. Wait. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the postman, the mailman, whatever you want to call him, right? I'm guessing he has like a special key to get in. Otherwise, people could just take your stuff, can't they? I didn't know what it was before because, like I say, in France, we don't have that. You cannot never send knew that. mail out with your mailbox. You just can get your mail in. Right. But in the US, if you're not from the US, uh, basically, you have a little red flag on top of the uh, mailbox. It allows you to put it up Such if you a want good to idea. send out some mail. And your mailman will see the little flag up and you will go to your mailbox to get your mail. Which That's is really such interesting a handy which, idea. because we don't have that. And yeah, so I thought it was kind of funny. Number Ready three cool. are the outside of the house in general, the design. Okay. So the first thing I found was usually in France, we have more levels. So for example, in France, most houses, at least for example, around my or around me. More what? Overalls. The first thing I found was usually in France, we have more levels. More levels? More lo- Huh? So for example, in France, most houses, at least for example, around my or around me in my town, more houses are like three floors oh, on top of the okay. basement, of course, but right. we have three floors. But the floor, um, I guess the space on the floor is uh, smaller. But in the okay. US where I was, the space on the floor, the ground was a lot larger, but you had Oof. less levels, like for example, two floors plus the basement right? Uh, instead of three or four. And But it was kind of longer and a lot of houses also had actually one uh, floor. So that's when... Wait, 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 wait. In America, right, what is the most common amount of floors in a home? In the UK, it's two. So you have the first and then the second. 
right? We don't have any basements in the UK. So you got one level and then the upper level, like the second floor, right? How many levels is common in, in, in America? One thing. Also, uh, the look of the houses are a lot different. So in France, we still have that kind of like older kind of look with the rock showing uh, from the house. And in the US, more that modern look, which a lot of houses Beautiful. also had like that plastic tiles or that. Number five. I, I just love the way Americans' homes look. E even, I would never get a house just one level like this, right? I, pr I like having a second level. But this is beautiful, man. Plastic tiles or whatever. Number five are shutters. So in France, we have these huge shutters in front of our windows outside oh. the house. Ah. So usually they are made out of metal, metal but um, in the older times, sometimes they were made out of wood. What is that for? The apocalypse? Like, what, <laughs> what, what are the shutters for? However, maybe more modern, like new houses being built don't always have shutters. But right. my house is like a little older, not that old, but a little older, so it still have shutters. Many houses still have shutters. You will see them a lot in France, even though a lot of new houses don't have them. Right. Um. So what do they like? What do they do basically? Uh, the first thing is they keep your house cool. So during the summer, so oh. you kind of close them up so your sun doesn't get in your house, so your house keep cool. Okay, so it's not for the apocalypse. It's so the sun are hitting the window. Oh yeah, that, okay, that's smart actually. Uh, we might need some of them in the UK. <laughs> also, it kind of helps with like breaking and stuff like that because it just blocks the window, so okay. you cannot break in. Uh, you can break the window. It's like cool. really hard. You can it because basically you shut the shutters and you close them from the inside so from the outside you cannot do anything it's like this huge middle shutters it's nice. so it just helps with like keep your house cool help with break-in and yeah so you will see that a lot in france as well interesting and i, I never did that just really cute so i don't know it gives a little bit of charm to the house right never did so that. number six is something we don't really have in france but i've seen a lot in the united states are screens so it's like little screens you have oh. on your windows or your doors yo why do we not have this in Europe, bro? Like, why? I've seen this in another video before. You open the window in America and you have like another screen. And it. you guys were saying in the comments, it's to keep bugs out and stuff, right? Bro, that is so perfect. Do you know how many times? Like, the UK is getting really, like, hot in the summer now, right? So, it's boiling. And I don't want to open the window because so many bugs come in, bro. I, oh, it's horrible. I... I hate opening the window, especially at night, right? And then you look on the roof and it's just all these bugs, right? Oh, it's horrible, man. I, I don't want to be living in a jungle. So these screens are such a good idea. Uh, to prevent from mosquitoes. So it's really cool. Really good idea. you can have your window open, so have your air coming in. Right. But you still have that mosquito, mosquito? Uh, shutter so you can open your window but still don't have some. the mosquitoes coming in and same with the door like you sometimes have double doors like you have the actual door and then you have that little screen uh oh, okay. mosquito door where it's the same you can have your door open and have the air coming in see outside but still have that mosquito can get in which is really cool and i think it's awesome i mean it's a good it idea makes total sense we don't have them really here. I never seen them in France. No, I've uh, never seen them in the UK. Maybe more in the countryside. Maybe some people have them. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Number seven. Now we're going to go inside the house from now okay. on. So the first huge thing I found in the US was air conditioning. Of course, bro. Of course. I've said this in many videos, right? Listen, when I actually buy my first home and it's mine, I'm getting AC installed. I don't know what... I think it's coming a little, like, it's getting a little bit more popular in the UK getting AC. Because I have heard of people installing ACs in their homes now. Um, yeah, just our summers. I don't know what's going on, bro. But we are boiling in summer, man. I I'm terrified. Honestly, you see me in a hoodie right now? Bro, in two months, I'm probably going to be naked, bro. I don't know. Our, our house is just keep the heat in. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. So, yeah, when I do uh, get my first home... I will um, pay whatever it is to get AC in store, man. I'm so jealous of you guys with AC right now. So it might seem crazy to you because in the US it's everywhere, but in mm. France we don't really have that much air conditioning. It's not as common and as normal than it is in the US. So in the US I've seen it everywhere. I mean, where I was in PA, where it's not the warmest state, right. I mean, during the summer it can get pretty hot, but it's not like you no know, Arizona or Utah or something. That's what it is though. Like in the UK, people don't have AC because 
the UK is only really hot for like two months. Do you know what I mean? So like, it, it, people can't just like, they're, they're thinking, well, if 10 months are, you know, either like cool or cold, what's the point of getting AC? But I swear, it, the, I'm pretty sure some of you guys told me ACs also heat up the house as well. Uh, yeah, we just need ACs, man. Some other states that are really hot. Um, but there was still air conditioning pretty much everywhere. Right. So number eight are power outlets. So if you don't know, uh, we don't have the same voltage oh, in okay. France and the United States. So if you do come to France or f if you're French and you go to the US, of course, right. you need to have adapters, adapter adapters. I oh, don't know that's like it. everywhere though. Like even with the UK and like when I go to Spain or Greece, it's different power outlets. So yeah, always before you go traveling, always make sure that you got your adapters, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Always. Um, because it's not the same voltage and it's not even the same design of the outlet. Right. Yeah. So you do need to be careful with that because, uh, yeah, if you bring, for example, uh, something he from here, so like a hair dryer or something like that, well, it work. would not work as well or it would maybe work or it might be a bit dangerous if you use it uh, from a French one in the US or an okay. um, American one in France because it's not the same voltage so they're not used to they're not made for the same voltage oh wow also the power outlets are different so here in France it's like three wait so even if I have an adapter it might still be dangerous to put myself in a, a American sockets what because like the different voltages or will, will I be fine uh, little holes I guess round roll holes but in the US if I remember correctly it's two holes and it's more like it looks like a ghost face bro that actually looks like a ghost face it's shocked <laughs> little rectangle one so i will insert pictures to show you Interesting. But, so it's not the same design of the power outlet and it's not the same voltage so just something to know so number nine is kind of random but i've seen it everywhere and it just kind of bothers me because it's just a weird difference but it's okay. everywhere it's doorknobs so why oh. am I talking about doorknobs? It's just because in the US, I've seen doorknobs i never seen in France, actually, which is just so, so random. But in France, every handle I've ever seen in my life, it's a handle, like lever right. kind of handle. But in the US, almost everywhere I went, a lot of places, at least, it was like run uh, oh. doorknob with like, if you want to put the keys, like right in the middle. And yeah, it's just... Wait, this is the first I've actually seen this. Wait, do you just turn the like the door knob? You just turn that and it and it just works like a handle? Interesting. Cool. Why what, what if it's like icy and it's quite slippery? Will your hand just slip? Like if you want to put the keys like right in the middle. Interesting. And yeah, it's just so random, but it's like a different I've seen that kind of bothered me because like when sometimes you still use two door knobs with levers. Right. Like it's so weird to just turn like a round doorknob. It's just not the same thing you do with your hands. So do you know what's crazy? My door for my house right now don't even have a handle. <laughs> you just put the key in, right? And then you just push the door. <laughs> There's no handle, bro. Wait, how do I show it? Wait. How do I actually show it? I think it's like a like a like a like a latch kind of thing. I actually don't even know how I want to go look that it. I don't pay attention too much to my door but there's no I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no handle bro I'm actually <laughs> I want to go go check every time I kind of was like I don't know just at first I guess I was kind of bothered by it because I couldn't just push on it I had to turn with the handle I don't know I just thought it was weird wait yeah my door is weird bro I think it's like a little like where you put the key and I think it's like a little like under latch that you just put your fingers under and just pull it too. Interesting. I got a weird door. <laughs> and kind of funny. So yeah, you will see doorknobs are quite different. Number 10 are floors. So usually uh, in France, you will see a lot okay. more like wooden floors or tile floors. Or carpet. But in the US, I've seen a lot more carpets, I guess. Oh. A lot of people add carpet, especially in more... Okay, UK is different to France then. France, like, we will have wooden floors a lot. But I, honestly, it's really like 50-50 with wooden carpet. And every ha and most houses have like a mixture. So they have, they have like wood somewhere and then carpet somewhere. So like in this house... I've got carpet in all of like all the rooms, but then like the hallway downstairs is wood, right? And then in the kitchen is wood. For the main uh, living uh, areas, like your living room, uh, even your bedroom, stuff like that, you will have carpet usually right. a lot of time. Where you, in France, you will not see that very much. I mean, at least where I've been in all the houses I've been, ah. I don't see that many people with like uh, carpeting. 
A lot of people have, like I said, either tiles or a uh, wooden floor. So. Oh, even in bedrooms and like living rooms? Oh, I can't imagine that would be cozy though. Wouldn't would you prefer carpet? For example, in my bedroom, it's a wooden floor. So I prefer oh, like wooden floor. Oh, wait, wooden, wooden floor in a bedroom? Yo, wait. Yeah, you'll never see that in the UK, wooden floor for bedrooms. Wooden floor just because I think it's so pretty, it's just beautiful and just so much easier to clean. However, carpeting is fun just because it's more, it's like soft and it's right. nice if you nice have kids to play with and stuff like that. It's easier on like a carpet. However, it's so hard to clean and I think it's kind of dirty because it's True. not, you can't really clean it that much. Carpet is definitely harder to clean on wooden floors, yeah, but I would I, I, I would never have wooden floors for like my bedrooms and stuff. No way. No way. I, I like putting my feet on soft carpet, right? Walking around. But a wooden floor is just so nice to clean, so right. I don't know. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> I guess if you're from the US, maybe carpet. I don't know. I feel like it probably depends also where you are in the US, but at least in PA where I was. Right. And I even went to other states where i've seen houses with a lot of carpeting so not everyone has carpet but a lot Fair more enough. than uh, i've seen in france for example so number 11, 11. Uh, our bathrooms are more toilets i guess uh we don't really have uh, our toilets in our bathroom usually they are separated huh? most of the time not every time but most of the time most houses have their toilets separated from the bathroom okay right europe houses are kind of like this um in the location in the uk it depends on the location of the uk so where i grew up toilets were always in bathrooms right and i grew up in nottingham uh, if any of you guys know that place <laughs> but i'm in birmingham right now which you might know and yeah this is the first place in the uk that i've actually realized where the toilets are not in the bathrooms so the house i'm in now we have the bathroom behind me and then the toilet separate over there. And honestly, it's the first house I've ever been in. It's been like that, bro. And I don't know. I, I don't mind it that much. It don't really bother me. It's one of those things. It's like, eh, okay, sure. Right. But yeah, in the UK, a lot of bathrooms do have toilets. But then obviously there's some houses, one that I'm in right now, that, uh, yeah, they are separate. And I think it's so much better because I don't, don't really like in the US where the toilet is inside the bathroom. Already, oh, Because like I it. think one, it's kind of annoying because it was, if it's not separated, like if someone goes to the uh, toilet, well, they block the entire bathroom. You can go to the bathroom. In France, okay. you can do both. You Fair can enough. have someone in the toilet, someone in the bathroom. Plus, I think like the toilet is kind of gross, you know, it doesn't smell good and all those stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's nice that it has its own little room. So it's just to do your thing, you have a window and just the toilet and you right. have your bathroom that is all nice and clean. So I don't know, to me it's one of those things that just doesn't bother me in the slightest, bro. The toilet being in the bathroom or being out of the bathroom. Yeah, the, the, I, I got no pro problems either way. Yeah, in the US, it's usually in all the houses I've been to, the toilets were inside the bathroom. Whereas in France, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, they are Separate. separated in separated rooms. Okay, so the last one I'm going to talk about, number 12, are kitchen aisles. So I've seen a lot more kitchen aisles in the US than we have in France. And right. I think, I truly, I believe if in France, if you have one, you call it like an American aisle or an American kitchen, if okay. you have it like that. So an like open kind of kitchen with like a big uh, kitchen aisle in it. It's called an American kitchen, I believe. Right. But yeah, it's something we don't really have uh, in France. You, most of the time, you will not have any kitchen aisle in France, but in the US, not everyone has them, of course, because I think you need to have a lot of space and it's probably kind of expensive too, but... Yeah, I'm glad you said that, expensive. So like, in the UK, I will happily say most people don't have a kitchen aisle, right? But I'd say around like maybe 20, 25%, maybe. So like a quarter of the UK might have a kitchen aisle, right? It depends if they want to put one in. So like my mom's got an aisle, but I know so many people that don't have aisles, right? My mom's got an aisle, they got one put in. Um, I have an aisle. Um, my last home had an aisle. But then like the amount of homes that I've been in, half of the homes that I've been in haven't, half of the homes that I, I have. So it, it, the UK is kind of, it, yeah, kind of, some houses do, but I would say most don't. Right, most houses don't have them. So it just depends if you want to put one in. 
But yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's saying in France, it, it's not common at all. Uh, a lot at least is more a lot more common, I guess, in the US than in France. So it's just something I found in the US, which I think is... Oh, but don't get me wrong. In the UK, I'm pretty confident that everybody wants a kitchen aisle, right? It's one of those things. It just costs money, right? It just costs money to do what, you know, and a lot of people don't have that in the UK, especially currently, man. We're in a, we're in a bit of a crisis, mate. <laughs> it's so nice. I mean, the kitchen aisle is amazing, but yeah, they're nice. Really have I like them. France, but in the US, a lot more people have them. Beautiful. I actually made an entire video about French kitchen, what we have in our French kitchen, and okay. a few differences we have between American kitchens and French kitchens. So That'd be a good video. That if you are interested in knowing a little more about the small differences between both countries. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed That was a really good video. Enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think, which kind of things you guys prefer in Europe or in America, which ways you kind of prefer. Personally, for me, an American home to me would just be absolutely perfect. It literally would be a dream. But yeah, really enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Maybe you guys can send me some photos of your houses. I love checking out your houses. You can do that on Instagram, L3WG underscore. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, make sure to thumbs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you all in the next one peace